Alex. I'm Andrea. And I'm Jasmine. And, and we're, we're Charlie's Carbons. Carbons. <laughs> Carbon is the basis of all organic compounds. In fact, about 10 million compounds can be made with carbon. This is because the structure of carbon allows it to be bonded with many other kinds of elements. So this allows it to be used in many different industries. Can you name some materials that have carbon in it? Yes, we can. If you've ever used the number two pencil, you've probably been using graphite. So on all those standardized tests that you've had to take in your life, you've been using graphite to get all those answers wrong. As you can see, it's a layered structure with weak van der Waals forces and it's the highest grade of coal. So if you've been naughty for Christmas, you might get some graphite in your stocking. Carbon black is a material produced from the incomplete combustion of heavy petroleum. It is most commonly used in your car tires. It is also used as UV protection, so make sure you lather on some carbon black before you hit the beach this summer, but be aware that it is classified as a group 2B carcinogen. So maybe not too much carbon black sunscreen. Amidst the rain and the weather, a young MSE student, desperate for final exam points, tries to locate carbon black. Is this it? Is this it? I think it's, that's it. Carbon black. I found it. It's right there. I got my 20 points. <laughs> Sponsored by Hunt Library. Diamonds are forever. They are very hard and brittle, and they can be cut to make beautiful pieces of jewelry, like my earrings, which use large diamonds. There are also small diamonds, which are used for cutting tools and polishing and diamond film. Diamond film, which is used to coat tools and medical devices. Carbon nanotube is essentially a rolled up graphene sheet. It is the strongest and stiffest material on earth. Because of its great electrical properties and strengths, the Air Force Office of Scientific Research is primarily funding the University of Texas at Dallas to create these nano muscles, which are 30 times stronger than regular muscles to be used in aerospace applications. They are made of very thin nanotube sheets and they are going to be strong as steel in one direction and as elastic as rubber in the other two directions. Check out the Air Force soon for this upcoming technology. Polarine is considered the largest, most symmetrical molecule. It has a similar structure to a soccer ball. It was first discovered in 1985 and is similar to the structure of graphite as it is composed of stacked graphene sheets. They are used in several biomedical applications including MRI and X-ray imaging contrast agents. Let's play some soccer ball. <laughs> Graphene is a thin flake of ordinary carbon, literally one atom thick. Two scientists from the University of Manchester won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2010 for extracting a piece of graphite and making the thinnest and strongest material ever that even an elephant could stand on it. I'm Jasmine. I'm Andrea. <laughs> I'm Jasmine. I'm Andrea. <laughs> She's Alex. And we're Charlie's <laughs> What is this? What is that? What is that? I think it's fullerene. What is it fullerene? <laughs> Young MSC student. This is carbon black. Carbon black. Okay. okay. Wait, do I face that way or inside? Which way? Have you I don't know. I was doing.